Welcome to the Bureau of Land Management. My name is Daryl Lenardi, the National Geospatial Program Manager. All of us at the Bureau of Land Management have a tremendous responsibility for managing 245 million acres of public land and 700 million acres of subsurface minerals. We're proud to manage this land to sustain the health, diversity, and productivity of public lands for the use and enjoyment of present and future generations. To successfully manage public lands at this scale, BLM leverages enterprise GIS technology. Hi, I'm Marissa Monger, BLM's GIS Modernization Project Lead, coming to you from Southwest Oregon. Through BLM's GIS Modernization Project, we've had the unique opportunity to explore GIS technology and apply its functionality in support of BLM's multiple use mission. With offices from Florida to Alaska, this bureau-wide effort involves GIS and IT staff from all levels of the organization. While we cannot all be in here in person with you today, we wanted to share a few examples of innovative approaches we have discovered during our modernization efforts. Hey guys, I'm Daniel Fleming, here today at Manassas National Battlefield Park in Northern Virginia. One innovation is the popular BLM Record of the Week story map produced by the Bureau's General Land Office. The GLO team builds these story maps featuring a historic land record from the Bureau's archives using ArcGIS Pro to more efficiently georeference records and publish to ArcGIS Online. We have broadened our reach to our audiences by connecting history to the records. BLM has also co-authored story maps with sister agencies, such as the National Park Service, to better educate and share this information with the American public. In celebration of Black History Month, GLO developed a record of the week that features Selma, Alabama. Significant for its place in the civil rights movement, this location was the starting point for the marches from Selma to Montgomery. Hello, Martin Visaraga here, speaking directly to you from central New Mexico. The BLM is partnering with a variety of federal agencies and non-federal organizations for the Seeds of Success initiative. Healthy ecosystems provide the essential ecological services upon which all life depends, including our own. Using mobile technology, Seeds of Success teams effectively coordinate seed collection using a common protocol, enabling collections to be preserved and referenced internationally. The use of this technology helps conserve and develop native plant materials for stabilizing, rehabilitating, and restoring lands in the United States. To date, Seeds of Success has over 24,000 native seed collections, protecting biodiversity for future generations. Greetings from the last frontier, I'm Kathy Hillis, the Geospatial Manager from BLM Alaska. Another example of innovative ways we are using GIS can be found in supporting the unprecedented 2020 fire season. BLM GIS professionals develop multiple state applications, dashboards, and other tools to help wildland firefighters make quick decisions. By doing so, we have reduced the risk of wildfire nationwide, treating 5.4 million acres of land since 2017, in 2020, BLM treated 1.5 million acres, a 10-year high. BLM is refining these same tools to more efficiently tackle climate change in the future. We have discovered that GIS modernization has brought our community and the organization closer together to tackle the tough challenges facing our Bureau. As we work together to manage America's vast public lands, we are more successful when we collaborate and interconnect our systems. Through helping our neighbor, we help ourselves. By embracing BLM's inclusive culture, together we are able to achieve more. We are one BLM, one GIS.